befriending the bots you guys have been asking and the number one the number one topic you guys want route combinations uh, and learning how to pass a little bit better now uh, before we start this video please hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me but um, I will tell you there's Madden 21 I believe comes out August 25th it is not even June 25th yet so we have two months to play this game now you guys might be burnt out of the game everybody seems to be burnt out maybe the game of the game sucks everybody's complaining but if you want to get better at Madden 21 this is the best time to practice and one of the best things or the toughest things to do is to self scout what are you not good at what do you need help with what do you need to improve your game on a Madden 21 and, and if passing is one of the things and you want to become a better passer uh, I know it's been a run year so if you guys are trying to compete you're probably running a lot more uh, to win these weekend league games to win these month seasons to win these coins so if you want to get better passing and, and to me I always want to get better passing always want to be a better passer always want to be as best I can <clears throat> passing wise um, so this video will definitely help you this is a an idea I had and, and one thing when we go into passing and making route combinations um, the, the number one thing you have to do is you kind of have to see the defense you know predict the defense uh, previous play does a great job of that I know a lot of people have been uh, skeptical of why is in the game uh, but I mean the best players don't need it but you guys can use it to your help to you to help you become a better player if, if you're dropping back and you see he's in cover three every play and that's pretty much the defense I'm going to go over of how to attack not really how to attack but how to attack zone and how to really understand uh, try to make it like the running game that's how it is the running game what you want to do is you want to use your linemen to open up holes for your running back essentially right in the passing game we want to use routes to open up other routes so we want to use some routes around the field are literally just offensive linemen they are just clearing out um, defenders to create a hole for another route or another wide receiver to make a play uh, you have to understand that and one of the biggest things is where do I put these offensive line <laughs> routes you know just guys that are going to move people out of the way because uh, uh, essentially when you when we pass when passers pass um, you have five weapons to your to your uh, to your disposal now most of the time we're probably only going to throw to two people you know, when you're going to play, two people are options to throw the ball. So a lot of times when I'm when I'm streaming or a YouTube video, you guys, oh, you missed this guy, you missed that guy. Uh, you're really not looking for that guy. You kind of have your mindset on what's going to happen when the play develops, and you're looking for A or B. Sometimes C, uh, and, and and ultimately the best passers. Yes, everybody on the field is a viable option. You know, but a lot of times there's just dummy routes and. I'm going to call them offensive line routes that are just moving defenders out of the way. Now, I want to, let's go into uh, go into the breakdown. We'll go into the breakdown that I set up for you guys to really help. This is just cover three, right? This is just cover three, basic cover three. Uh, this is cover three and dollar. Uh, probably for me, one of the best cover threes in the game, right? Um, uh, we have three down linemen and we have a pur two purple zones. They could be cloud zones. They could be, uh, you know, seen flat. So I don't know what purples do. But, and then you have the three deep blues. All right, and you have the two yellow zones. And you have to assume that one of these yellow zones is going to be their user. So that's unpredictable. But, and then you kind of have to understand where their user is and what they're doing. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what I mean by moving these zones. Now, when a play starts, right, uh, any type of play, any old play, we're, we're going to have essentially there's already holes in the zone and i always call these the coochie spots well not that these are the coochie spots right you're still going to have holes in between these guys you know where you can where you can throw the ball right so essentially cover three and and, and really you kind of still have the sidelines too you know but the sidelines those two i'm not really not really not feeling the sidelines that much so when cover three starts i mean we already have I would I would go ahead and say that we have what do we have uh, let's put this on a hundred we have these coochie spots because I want to try to fit these well you could I mean a seam streak right here is viable so we have one two three four five six seven holes in the cover three right now these passes without any type of you know offensive line routes to move the zones 
These passes are going to be obnoxiously tough to get in. They're going to be in traffic. You're going to drop them. You're going to throw interceptions. You know, so obviously a lot of you guys, we can run this streak right up the middle, right? We can run this streak right up the middle of the field with my man. Well, who's this guy out here? Uh, Mari Cooper, I believe. We can run this right up the middle of the field. Yeah, no problem. Boom. Right here. Boom. That's hit attacking there. We can put a hitch here to attack it. We can put a whole bunch of different things, essentially, to attack with a Mari Cooper. Same thing with, with, with Witten. We can do a little hitch right here. We can do a seam. We can do a drag. Uh, we could even do a post, whatever it may be, right? But uh, these are all tough throws. Now, I'm going to show you how to use these, essentially, to use these these routes. You want What you want to do is you want to open this up. You want to open up this, this hole right here because you want to throw in these holes. You know, I like the big holes. Pause. They're easier to throw. They're easier to make reads. You know, so essentially that that that's what we want to do here. We want to open up those zones, or we want to even do this. Move these guys down so we have a gaping hole right here. You know, and and what different routes can we use to do that? You know, there there in lies become the dummy routes that you have to put on the field. Now we can go out here, and we can put this guy on a streak. Essentially, this guy 19. Oh, that's Amari Cooper. Let's put him on a streak. Because what that's going to do is we're going to go here and that, that hopefully that's going to move this guy down here. And then we can go out here and we can take this guy, run him on a flat. Right? We run him on a flat. We got him on a streak. So that's going to take this zone, move that over here. Then we can run Witten on a slant, a post, something like that. Hold on, where I switch this. We can run Witten on a slant or a post or something along that nature. Now, we're running Witten into this huge gaping hole rather than trying to fit in before. So, that's what I mean about dummy routes. Now, when people say, oh, you didn't, you missed the streak X, that's not somebody I'm looking for. Because I'm assuming 9 times out of 10 he's going to be covered. So, that's one of the ways you, we can go ahead and, and just uh, essentially open up a hole there for... Wait in the whole catch a post or something along that nature. Now, one of the one of the main plays you see a lot of people run is this running back wheel, right? Uh, we'll see this type of combination from a lot of players this year, and that's going to be a post on here, right? We're going to see an out route right here. We're going to see a running back wheel. Some of, these are some of the best route combinations we can have. And we'll see, we'll see a flat over here, maybe a streak here. So essentially, by doing this, what they're going to create is we're going to take this seam flat all the way out to play because of the out route. We're going to take the yellow zones this direction for this post route. We're going to take this deep blue down here. We're going to take this purple over here, right? So now you're gonna, essentially you have the running back in this wide open, wide open you know, gaping hole right here. And you're going to have uh, 18, which is Michael, G no, it's not Michael Gallup. Who is it? Randall Cobb, right? He's going to be a post in this gaping hole right here. So this is one of the best plays people have used all year to stretch the user. Because like I said, one of these guys is going to be a user. So is he going to guard the running back or is he going to guard the post route? You know, but because of the routes you put on the field to open up these zones, that's such, it, there's, there's just wide open passes. You know, and it puts so much stress on the user to do that, you know. But I, I just wanted to use this demonstration and pretty much show you guys um, how we use different routes to open up holes in the zone, really. You know, and, and different zones are going to do different things. And there's so many adjustments you can do with the zone that it, it makes it, it it makes it tougher. Or what I'm saying, it makes it so you do have to still make reads. You know, I would say the running back wheel post route is probably the best route combination as far as not needing to make reads. You know, uh, not not that you don't need to make reads, but it's it's the easiest one because these yellow zones they could play aggressive. You know, they could drop back ten yards. They could be in a mid read. They could be all over the place. You know, they could go to the sideline. They could be in a vert hook. Uh, there's so many different things these yellow zones can do that you still have to make a read. And I'll show you just a bunch of different things that I, I just do in practice mode. And these are things where you can go in pra like practice mode as much as like, as much as um, I, I don't use it that much. But if you're not playing, you're not playing a game, say you're, you're doing something, you're watching a show or 
Whatever it may be, you don't have enough time for a game, you want to get better, sit in practice mode and put together these route combinations. Now, I use Brady. Why do I use Brady? Because he has all the hot routes, essentially. that That's why I use the Brady man uh, in practice mode. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what different routes I use to break down these zones. Just like I did in the little diagram right there, I want to show you guys um, what I do to break down, or what you can do. There's a bunch of different ways... We'll go to dollar right here. Now I'll tell you this is this is this is a pro tip. Um, a lot of times we go practice mode. The pass rush is insane. It is insane. It is unreal. Um, so what I do is I sub the worst player possible in here. I have Chris Covington, Joe Jackson, and Jalen Jelks. I, Cowboys fans don't even know who those guys are. So instead of going against Demarcus Lawrence and Robert Quinn and Michael Bennett, we're going against bums. So we'll have more time in the pocket. If you just have one controller, you can spy these guys. But like I said, cover three sky press, right? Honestly, this stock play is one of the best plays in the game. I, I love running curls against cover three. Uh, we'll see how it works because you see those flat routes. We'll move our purple zones to the outside, and then we'll be able to hopefully hit these hit these curl routes, you know, underneath them. See that? That's exactly what I mean. If you don't have the curls. You will, or don't have the flats, it won't open up that open up. That's the offensive line route. The flats are offensive line routes. See this purple zone? See how it, the, the flat takes it all the way to the sideline, opening up that hole for the hitch. Now, some, some formations are better. Some splits for the wide receivers are better. Sometimes the wide receivers are the numbers. You know, it's to the point where I, I don't almost uh, do, it, do it backwards, essentially. You know, but now we'll get into, okay... Now, uh, Van Der Esch is kind of going to be the guy, or the safety is going to kind of be the guy that's over top of it. Oh, it worked right there. Now, kind of flip it, go opposite. Honestly, I think what did that was this running back hitch. Could have found we could have found a, a zone beater. Uh, that's not, but sometimes you you sometimes you can pass. Sometimes you can hit the flat routes or the offensive line routes but let's go back to the one i told you guys about now this this wheel route is not good i don't know how to explain that it's not good this is the exact play i put on on the green board right here this is the exact play we'll see what we got when we back up now you see these offensive linemen are giving me all day here oh brady really brady is that how we're doing same thing now some like i said some wheel routes are a lot better than the ones that uh that are the, the hot route essentially the hot route one is decent what is up with Brit is this is Brady in the game or is this that new guy Who, who's throwing the ball actually unreal same thing though but you see how that flat route's gonna take the purple zone I mean I just can't I, I hope you guys understand what I'm what I'm going through right now uh, he, I mean, this guy's wide open, and this is why Brady, Brady was like not good in regs because he can't pass lead. Let me just not pass lead it. I want to pass lead inside and away from that purple zone. There it is. Because I want, I want, and then you want to possession catch that because I feel like they catch it night. They'll get the dive and catch everything like that. But these are just different ways to open up zones. Uh, this is one of the best ways, and you got people will laugh, but hitting that slant, just quick slants. Quick slants when they get all the way across the field. We'll see Watson will take the purple zone to the sideline. We just got to wait till, essentially, boom, there it is. Just wait till he gets in, in that coochie spot, like I said, between the yellow and between the purple. That That's pretty much what I wait for. And, what I, and it's just a timing thing, really. You know, and, and this is what's crazy is that you want to throw this. Now, you kind of want to. See how he's he's running into the yellow zone now, but by the time I throw the ball, it's going to be past the 40-yard line by the time it gets there. So just like a quarterback in real life, man, you have to throw with anticipation. You know, because I when I when I hit the button on this pass, about right here, look, he's he's not even at the yellow zone yet. But you almost have to wait, anticipate for him to pass that because you know the ball, the travel is going to be, like I said, Practice mode timing is a big deal on these route combinations. Um, let's go with some different ones. Um, hmm. I I really like the slants. I really do. But like this is one of the best in the year. And you see some of the TNC guys use this very well. Just a hitch. Boom. Right there. 
a hitch. Now, let's go with this one as well. Let's go hitch, out route on the left. So we have, so essentially this is what we have. We have a dummy route pulling our purple zone to the sideline. We have a hitch pulling down the yellow zone. And we'll do this. We'll do tight end post. You know, that's what we'll do. Now, essentially what I'm attacking, I'm attacking the strong safety here, or the free safety. The free safety is in the yellow zone, right? And we're going to see if he guards Watson or Edelman. And this is where the read comes in. Like, where, where, where is he going to guard? Because we know our purple zone is going to be by the sideline because we put an out route. You know, what is that guy going to do? He doesn't drop back, boom, just like that. Make the read on a guy. A lot of times yellow zones, and people use, use hitches all year to bring down these yellow zones. Bring down these yellow zones and then throw the post over top of them. So that's just another little route combo you can use against purple zones or against yellow zones against cover three. But as like I said, I mean, as we go back to the to as we go back to the whiteboard, the drawing board, our biggest goal here is to understand that we need routes to move these guys around. You know, and, and essentially this is how you get your cover three beaters. I'll show you. Uh, Pretty much how a cover three beater works. I don't know if I could do it in practice mode, but it's just, it's just, I don't even know if the Patriots have anybody fast. They still have their set. But what you want to do, essentially a cover three beater, what you want to do is you want to isolate this middle guy. You want to isolate him. And how do you isolate him? The best route in the game to keep zones down is a comeback route. You know? I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong layer. So if we want to do two comeback routes on the outside, two comeback routes, Cooper and Gallup on comeback routes and Randall Cobb, essentially we'd have him on a deep post or we'd have the tight end on a deep post, Evan Ingram. Let's say let's just put a tight end on a deep post. Now, Witten's not going to get this done, but um, Evan Ingram will get this done because what's going to happen is these guys will go ahead and, and kind of stick to these wide receivers out here. Then you'll have this guy on an island. And what happens is you'll run right at him, and then you'll kind of race him to the sideline. And you just get a pass lead to the left, boom. That's essentially how we do these cover three beaters. Uh, pretty much every time we see cover three, whether it be deep corner and bunch, whether it be Y out and tight offset, whether it be any play with a deep post kind of in a slot or something like that. And that's how we do that. But the main thing I want you guys to learn is that you picture this in your head while you're passing. You know, picture that. And a lot, of, a lot of Madden offense, and it has always been this way since the beginning of time, is that you need one route that the user has to guard. You know, So say this hook curls the user, and you have a post route that he has to guard every single time. Dagger and, and Trey Y flex is a great play because you kind of got to guard that crossing route every play. So if you know their user's guarding there, now not only do your dummy routes, you can create one like this, but now because their user has to run with the route, you're taking that out of play as well. So uh, just try to make these giant holes in zone. That, that's the key. What you can do if you want, if you want exact plays, manturf.com. We have tons of stuff you guys can, can use there to uh, you know find different offenses, find different plays that you want. But uh, like I said, go to practice mode, mess around with cover three. The same thing with cover two. It's just, it's just essentially different zones. You know, but the more you can move these zones around, the more you can manipulate coverages. And when you can do that, then you got to worry about manipulating the user. Have one route out there that they have to guard. Wide receiver cross out a bunch tight end. Uh, not bunch tight end, bunch. Wide receiver cross. The play people have run all year. Wide receiver cross has a, a crossing route that they have to guard. Most of these post routes, they have to guard. Corner routes, they have to guard. Now, use your other routes to open up these holes in the zone and find more open receivers, even if it's underneath under 10 yards. Um, I hope this video helped you guys, man. It's something I thought of. The other night, can I put these zones on the field, move them out, try to give people the idea that most most routes are not. I want to say most routes, half the routes on the field are dummy routes, offensive line routes that are just moving defenders, you know. And that goes into time when I get pissed off when people say you missed this guy, you saw this guy. Oh my gosh, why was a touchdown? For me, that's my offensive line route. I'm putting him out there just to move defenders. You know, where I can hit other routes. So, like I said, going into a pass play, we we as passers probably have one or two people we want to throw the ball to. If you cover A, we're going to B because we know with our offensive line routes we put out there, you know, we're going to have the ability to go ahead and, and um, 
find those holes and find those people open. But I said, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want me to add on some more route combinations, different zones, different defenses uh, that you guys want to attack, give me comments, whatever else you guys want to see in this Befriending the Bot series, because I want to help you guys get better for Madden 21. It's coming out in two months.